I'd be a lot better off if I would have studied more when I was growing up, you know? But you know where it all went wrong was the day they started the spelling bee. Because up until that day, I was an idiot, but nobody else knew, you know? And the spelling bee day, you know, popped up. All right, kids, up against a wall. It's time for public humiliation. Spell a word wrong, sit down in front of your friends. You know, that's great for little egos. Hey, look at me, I'm a moron. I wasn't even close. I was using numbers and stuff. That's why I admired that kid who spelled it wrong on purpose so he could sit down, you know? He knew he wasn't gonna win, so why stand there for three hours? First round, cat, K-A-T, I'm out of here. <laughs> then as he passed you, <laughs> I know there's two T's. <laughs> I remember my teacher asked me, Brian, what's the I before E roll? Oh. Um, I before E, always. What are you, an idiot, Brian? Well, apparently. <laughs> so she explains it. No, Brian, it's I before E, except after C. And when sounding like A, as a neighbor in way. And on weekends and holidays and all throughout May. And you'll always be wrong, no matter what you say. <laughs> that's a hard rule. That's a, that's a rough rule. Plurals were hard, too. Brian, how do you make a word a plural? Oh, you, you put an S. You, you put an S at the end of it. When? <sighs> On weekends and holidays. The rules are simple. You curse, you reimburse. One dollar for every swear sworn in this household. Well, I for one think this is a fantastic way to make us the very best people that we can be. And go to the Bahamas and pierce my belly button. Forget I said that. No one's going to the damn Bahamas. Bup, bup, that's a dollar in the swear jar, Dad. She's right, Murray. We have to live by example. I'm not paying for these morons to go to the Bahamas. You know, moron may not be considered a curse word, but it really does feel like one emotionally. I'll put 20 bucks in that thing if I can call any moron who's acting like a moron a moron anytime I want. 50. Worth it. Morons! You know what would teach us a super valuable lesson? Upping the fee for the big time swears to five bucks a pop. Yes. Oh, what a great idea. Oh, balls, it's really not. Ha <laughs> ha, that's five dollars. For balls? But it has so many meanings, only one of which refers to one's nards. That's ten dollars. Yay, my babies are going to be angels. What have you done, dragon lady? I've got seven dollars to my name. I'm already in debt. Relax, I have a plan. When it comes to swearing, we have self-control. Lucky for us, our mom does not. Oh my God, you're gonna use a swear jar to scam mom. I ran the numbers. We need 723 big swear words. If we can up mom's swear rate to twice an hour and nail her on some hells and damn it's in between, we're gonna be slurping on strawberry daiquiris in the Bahamas in 13 days. How do we get her to swear more? Follow my lead. Hey mom, I've been thinking about it and you're more than a mom. You're also like, a friend. That's exactly how I feel. We're like best friends. Ooh, wow. While I appreciate the enthusiasm, you kind of just dropped a big money word. That'll be a fiver. Did I say I said it again. Oh, how many was that? Oh, I'll just put it in a 20. It's money well spent for my delicious, talented superstar. <laughs> Mama, I'm cold and nothing can keep me warm like your hug. Will you hug me till I'm all roasty and toasty inside? You are so adorable! I'll get my purse.